Today, I'm going to show you how I get free access to airport lounges all around the world, more than 1,700 of them in 500 different cities worldwide. So that includes free food, free drinks, free access to reliable internet, showers, conference rooms, sleeping pods, and much more. If we're meeting for the first time, hello, my name's Habiba from The Trekking Pals and I create videos about adventure travel and I create videos like this one to share with you tips and resources to help you travel with ease. In my early years of travel, I always wondered how can I get access to lounges? And in my mind, I always associated lounges to flying first class, which is true. If you are flying first class, you do get access for free to airline lounges, which is incredible. But in this video, I'm going to focus specifically on priority pass lounges and if you're not familiar with priority pass it is a program when you become a member of priority pass you get access to a network of lounges around the world and i'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this so the first one is going to be by using a travel credit card and since we're talking about credit cards i want to preface this with the fact that credit cards or travel credit cards specifically are great they come with some amazing perks, but at the same time, you have to be very responsible when it comes to paying off debt on these credit cards because usually they come with high interest rates. And if you're not being punctual when it comes to when to pay and how much you are paying, you can easily rack up a lot of debt and we don't want to do that. So just throwing this out there. Now with travel credit cards, there are a lot of travel credit cards out there that will give you access to priority pass. So that's one of their perks because Usually with these travel credit cards, there are two things that you should know. The first one, there is an annual fee that you should be aware of. And then there are some perks that you get by way of opening this travel credit card. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the one that I like, and that's the Chase Sapphire Reserve, but there are many other cards out there like the American Express Platinum. So I'm not going to go into the details there, but I will leave a link in the description box with some resources so that you can read through them and decide for yourself which one is best for you. But with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, there is an annual fee, like I said, and there are some perks. I'm going to go through them on a high level the first thing is the annual fee with this travel credit card the annual fee is 550 us dollars but don't let that scare you away i know that it's a big number but if you are a frequent traveler and you are going to take advantage of all the perks and the benefits of the card it can easily pay for itself with the chase sapphire reserve some of the perks that the card come with is first of all the sign up bonus which is pretty common you get 50,000 bonus points with this credit card once you spend 4,000 US dollars on purchases in the first three months from opening your account, which is pretty common for this type of credit cards. Now, when it comes to benefit, there are the typical perks when it comes to spending money on travel and dining, restaurants and things like that. But the ones that I find to be really interesting are the premium travel benefits. So with their premium travel benefits, A, you get 300 US dollars of annual travel credit you get access to their luxury hotel and resort collection you get global entry or TSA pre-check fee credit if you choose to apply for them you get 24 7 access to their customer service and then finally and that's what we are interested in their complimentary airport lounge access so by way of opening this card you do get a membership for priority pass you can use priority pass lounges all around the world. Now, the way to activate your priority pass through your credit card is very simple. So you wanna go to your portal for the Chase Ultimate Rewards, and then you wanna go to card benefits. And under card benefits, you want to search for lounge, and that is going to take you to complimentary airport lounge access. So here, you can activate your pass and once you do that, it usually takes a few days until Chase sends you your priority pass card by mail. Once you have that, you can go to your phone and you can download the app Priority Pass and you will use that number that was assigned to you for your Priority Pass membership. You will use your personal information and you will create your account on Priority Pass app. And when you do that, they will give you a pass that you can save to your phone. So you do have the card that was mailed to you and you also have a card that you can save to your phone, which is pretty convenient. Now that you have the card with you, how do you get access to lounges? It's pretty simple. Once you know the airport that you are traveling to or from, or you have a layover at a specific airport, 
you are going to go to the app priority pass search for the airport and the app is going to show you the options that you have around you which terminal the name of the lounge etc etc and then you just find your way to the lounge and then once you get in they will ask you usually for your boarding pass they will ask you for your card either the physical card or the digital card and voila you are able to access the lounge you just want to make sure that it's a priority pass lounge because not every lounge at an airport is a priority pass lounge and like i said you will find the options available to you on their app now every lounge is different in terms of what they have to offer sometimes you can find free food and drinks sometimes you can find showers i had a wonderful experience at the airport in istanbul their lounge was probably one of the best lounges that I've seen. They had showers, they had storage for your bags, they had sleeping pods, it was incredible. And it's just a wonderful way to be able to relax and unwind before catching a long flight. So that's the first way you can do it through a credit card. The second way is by having a membership directly with Priority Pass, and this is pretty easy. So if you go to prioritypass.com, that's their website, you will see that they do have different membership plans that you can join or sign up for. They have the standard, the standard plus and prestige. And you can choose whichever one is best for you based on how much you travel and what are you looking for. So their standard package, for example, for the occasional traveler, you pay an annual fee of 99 US dollars. And then every time you visit a lounge, there is a fee that you will have to pay that is 32 US dollars, which is a lot cheaper compared to what you would have to pay to access lounge. Because I forgot to mention that whether you have priority pass or not, or flying first class, you can always pay to access a lounge. Some lounges, to be, to be specific, some lounges you can access them if you pay an entrance fee, which is usually high. So that's their standard package. The standard plus is for the regular traveler, an annual fee of 299 US dollars. You get 10 free visits and then 32 US dollars for the other visits and if you have a guest because usually with the with access to lounges you can bring in a guest you will have to pay 32 us dollars for guest visits and then the last one and that is the prestige for the frequent traveler it's pretty similar to what you would get if you are using a travel credit card their annual fee is 429 us dollars all free member visits so you don't have to pay if you are visiting a lounge and then for the guest visit fee it's 32 us dollars so these are the three different membership plans with priority pass and these are two different ways to get access to lounges for free using priority pass i hope that you guys found this to be useful and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments do you stay in lounges when you are traveling and if so what was your favorite lounge and what was your experience like? This is Habiba from the Trekking Pals and I will see you soon on a new...